What do you think? How good, as the Prime Minister says? Uh, absolutely. Good morning to you, Peter, and uh, absolutely fantastic. You know, we've been very fortunate to have some fantastic days in Australian football, um, but this one, uh, in my opinion, arguably is the greatest. Uh, a fantastic result. Congratulations to everybody involved, um, Chris Niku and his board, and his, especially his CEO, James Johnson, as well to the, to the previous CEO, David Gallup, uh, and the board for actually bidding for this originally. Uh, there, there must be, and especially the pioneers of the game, mm. uh, those who, who began a game really, who, which was, you know, you could say looked down upon for quite some time. And to see the progress that they've made in such a short period of time uh, and to get to this stage is absolutely mm. amazing. This is just as much for them uh, as it is for everyone. Um, for, and especially congratulations as well, and thank you to New Zealand for, for their part. Uh, in this fantastic uh, result. You know, Mark, as you know, famously back in 2010, mm. Australia was you know, basically robbed of the rights to host the 2022 Men's uh, World Cup that ended up going to Qatar. Mm. Do you think that if this is done well, it can show FIFA that we can do it and perhaps could lead to Australia possibly hoping, ho hosting the men's tournament in years to come? Oh, quite definitely, Peter. It's a, it's, it's a very good... Uh, what you just said is exactly right. And, and, you know, you have to say to FIFA as well, you know, obviously, after what had gone on in the past, they've changed the way that they've conducted the voting. Uh, there's no more 19-person uh, council. There's now a 37-member council. There were 35 votes cast today. And the real good thing you have to say about it, you have to congratulate Gianni Infantino on this, is the fact that there is transparency. We can see who everyone did vote for. Australia's hosted fantastic sporting events uh, in the past. With the 2000 Olympics comes to mind. Uh, obviously, we just had the, the Women's World Cup in cricket in that mm -hmm. as well. And we know that both Australia and New Zealand uh, do host great sporting events. And this is a wonderful opportunity. And uh, the most important thing is that it's a privilege to host a sporting event of this size and that we, mm. don't, we, we make sure we honour that decision as best we possibly can. Can we win it? Well, I think we can. Um, there's no doubt about that. I mean, we, we've been you know, around the quarterfinals for quite some time. We have got one of the best teams in the world. I think they're currently ranked seven in the world. They've been as high as five. And there's no doubt about that with home advantage that, you know, that is absolutely huge. And we've seen that before in all types of World Cups for all types of sports. Um, New Zealand, I think, around 23. They're, they're, they're ranked. Mm. Um, but I think there's no doubt that uh, Australia and the Matildas uh, do have a very good chance of winning the World Cup. Uh, Mark, just finally, uh, Liverpool have won the uh, English Premier League for the first time in 30 years. Uh, United fans, uh, all the other fans actually, ducking for cover for the next couple of days, next couple of weeks. What are your thoughts on them winning it finally? Well, Peter, I'd actually planned when you asked that question to turn around and say the line had dropped out. Yeah. I, 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 I wanted to ignore it. No, I felt it, dirty asking I, I you. Thought, yeah, I thought that the <laughs> dignified, you know, you win with honour. We talked about winning with honour yeah. with the Women's World Cup and you lose with dignity. Yeah. Um, I, I just want to say, you have to say, it's been a long, long wait in terms of the Premier League era. We all know from the 70s and 80s that Liverpool were the dominant side, not only in England, but in Europe and that as well. Congratulations to them. Uh, to Jurgen Klopp, their club and all their supporters all around the world. They've been mm. absolutely fantastic. No one could get near them this season. Well yep. done.